We continue to watch Hurricane Aaron early this morning. The 5 a.m. update from the National Hurricane Center is out and Aaron actually showing some signs of weakening this morning. Now this is likely just due to some of the changes in the structure of the actual hurricane. You can see it here just to the north of Puerto Rico. It was a category four earlier now dropping down to a category three, but it is expected to re-strengthen back into a category four storm. So let's take a closer look at where it's heading. It is still continuing this west north westerly movement as we head throughout the day today. This is going to turn to the north. So this storm is going to start pushing its way due north over the next few hours or so, likely by the end of the day today. It will strengthen back into a category four storm. So it's kind of grazing this region right here right now. So a lot of heavy rainfall happening in Puerto Rico, watching out for locally heavy rain and some urban and flash flooding. Along with that, in Turks and Caicos and the southern Bahamas, there are some tropical storm warnings and tropical storm watches. So tropical storm force winds and heavy rainfall are expected within the next 24 hours. Again, this will continue to turn towards the north as we go throughout the rest of the day today. And then it takes this continued track towards the north, curving towards the east and avoiding the United States still in these latest models. The cone is starting to get a little bit tighter. Bermuda is going to be watching out for impacts here in the way of dangerous waves, rip and surf currents, and that's going to be the same type of thing for the eastern U.S. here as well. So not a ton of changes from the last couple of updates. The weakening that you see here will eventually lead to strengthening back to category four strength, and then we will just continue to see this thing take a turn towards the north and pay attention to the track after it does that. I'm meteorologist Ansley Parker. Make sure to stay up to date with our 13 WMAZ weather team, and we'll bring you the latest.